on Nabucca, there are actually three different techniques um, to play a role. So the very traditional one, the Arabic one, we can say, is with the left um, ring finger, and also here, the ring finger. And it's just single strokes, alternating single strokes, right, left. Yeah, it's a it's a not too easy to learn technique. It will take some time to to have really this um, agility and looseness in the left hand. It's incredible how how they can do it and how fine it sounds. Um, and then uh, there are two other ways, two other techniques for playing a role, uh, which I want to talk about. Actually, so um, we have what many people know as the split finger. Or split hand technique which is index index ring ring right left right left always yeah. uh, and there's the i would say mr ahmed kind of role he invented this this technique or he developed it you know he uh, got a lot of com uh, a lot of complex um, things to it so it's right, left, left, right, left, left, always. You can alternate between uh, right index and right ring finger. Uh, and do other stuff. It's a, it's a complex thing. It's not just, you know, Miss Lachme technique is not just this. It's a, it's a whole thing, yeah? Whole concept or, yeah, it's a whole art work by itself. Um, so, but I came uh, to some thoughts about uh, roles. <laughs> so I played Dabuka for, I don't know, like 15 years or something. And yes, I, I practice a lot and I always try to find a, a, a very good way to, to express myself and <clears throat> be able to play anything I want in any speed I want. This, is, uh, can, this can, be, can be a thing with drumming in general. So you, uh, you end up uh, by choosing uh, certain techniques for certain tempi, because you know you cannot do this technique in this tempo, and this technique is better for that. And um, so I came to a point, uh, you know, I actually, my, my playing is, um, I, I, the most uh, technique I use in my playing is the Missile Ahmed way, always, because I learned with him. A lot of years and this is the standard for me but uh, before i i learned uh, with mr ahmed um i you know searched the internet and <clears throat> uh, saw how people doing doing the role on the dabuka and um, it's a very very common thing very famous uh, type of technique to, to play like this yeah. but uh this Technique, you know, it had, has advantages and disadvantages, and um, yeah, the the biggest disadvantage I find it's like the sound is a little harsh, it's a little aggressive, especially if you play it on the natural skin on clay dabuka. This sound, the sound of the Nisal Ahmed ways, is much more fine, but um, the split finger way. Because it's binary, you know, like one, two, three, four. Uh, you can you can uh, put it more easy or more uncomplicated into rhythmical things, and, uh, and especially adjust it very easily to different tempos. Because it's always just this, you know. If you use the use the other technique, you have to come up with some uh, polyrhythmic concepts to, uh, you know, to play in. Uh, 30 second notes, for example, because you have a group of three, you must divide it, you know, on eight, so it will displace, you know. This kind of thing is happening. And um, so, this is more mm, practical sometimes. But, if you play it all with the, with the same finger starting, you um, you you go out a 
a certain flow of this movement you know there you somehow also sometimes technically uh, you come to a point uh, where it's more logical to to use the the next finger because then there would be less movement or more efficient movement and so i came up with the super split finger technique and which is basically saying that uh, you always no matter what happens you you keep this order for the most time there are exceptions i came up with some systems but um yeah it's basically basically that so for example this pattern yeah i alternate always if i would play it like before like the most common way it's like this uh, sorry which is also a nice option you can play it very fast but if you want to play something like um, of 332 um, phrase if you play it uh, with always the same finger starting the roll um, you come up with a problem in the end if you play the, the two side the the two part like if you play it here and then if you play again with the index finger next roll you have actually this finger have to play too soon again you know because you play this is a very short time it, it could be more efficient if you if you go on alternating so but then it switches so you have uh, on the first roll you start with the index finger and then on the second roll you start with the ring finger yeah and also you continue uh, the movement with this so you start here with the index finger you continue here with the index finger you start here with the ring finger you continue also with the left ring finger so basically it that's the super split finger and of course it doesn't stop with this phrase it's a it's a whole rhythmical concept i uh, applied to the rhythmic alphabet concept of benny grip it's a german drummer um which is basically a permutation of um of a you know a four beats on four subdivisions on one beat like, like 16th note you would say or in eight note triplets also 